Hello, this is Beverly from scrapandthread.blogspot.com. Today I'm making gigantic Christmas ornaments using the Close to My Heart Cricut Artiste cartridge. This one happens to be the ornament that is listed on page 79, and I wanted to use these as a as big, bold, home decor type things. So I cut it as the largest size that I could, which was 11 and a half inches. And then there are some words that I could have used on this page, but I ended up using the Merry Christmas on page 80, and I cut that at five inches. So the 11 and a half inches uh, is from here to here, and then the five inch measurement is from here to here. So um, that one fit this size really well and um, this is a cranberry cardstock and white daisy cardstock and it comes with a little place to hang it up um, but then I started looking at the other ornaments in the book and decided that I wanted to make some more so I'm going to show you those and, and how easy they are to put together so um, this is a regular 12 by 12 Cricut mat and uh, the rest of these are all from the letter D uh, character, excuse me, the letter D key, and that is located on page 53. And these are also all cut at 11 and a half inches. They're the accents, so there's the base and then the filigree part that's cut out uh, if you push the shift key. So it's accent one, two, three, and four. And I'll show you the different colors and how they look and how simple it is to put them together. It really makes a, a, a really effective. Um, fun thing to have hanging up in your home. So this is the base. Um, you just cut this one cut and it, it's just so quick and simple. Now you'll notice on all of these ornaments there is no hole for hanging them and that's no big deal. Um, you can uh, just punch a hole and run some ribbon through there or uh, we have some beautiful burlap ribbon which would look really nice hanging up through that or um, I'm probably going to use monofilament thread because I want them to not, I don't want the emphasis to be on what it's hanging from. I want the actual ornament to be the focus. So what you do is you take um, the base and the filigree part and then you put them together. And so I used uh, the cranberry once again with the white. Uh, um, I happen to like very traditional Christmas decorations sometimes. Every, some years I go with pinks and things like that, but most of the time I'm a traditionalist. Um, and the white looks just as stunning on the red. And I use the Bonding Memories glue to just stick this down and it's as simple as that. It really takes just a few minutes to cut them and just moments really to glue it. The Bonding Memories is a glue that is blue when it's wet and then it dries clear. So if you do go outside of the lines when you're gluing, um, it won't show up. But it also has a nice feature in that if you let it dry before you put your two surfaces together, it is temporary. Whereas if you do it while it's wet, then it's a permanent bond. So that's that one. This one um, is, this one happens to be the accent one, and I did this one with the, uh, let's see, this one was New England Ivy and the white, and then I wanted to see what it would look like if I used the Glitz Stardust glitter on here uh, in case I didn't want it to be more of a, I don't know, it, this sort of reminds me more, more of a Scandinavian type look. Um, but if I wanted to glitz it up or glam it up a little bit, I took the negative cuts out here and I uh, put the glitter glue on it and smoothed it out, let them dry, and then I used this piece as a template and I put them on the back. And so then that gives me the reverse look. Um, and I really do like the the uh, non glittery part, but the glittery part offers a big punch too. So it's it just it's a personal preference issue. Um, this piece I took it and I ran it through my Xyron to see how that would work with Prisma glitter. So you can see that that one's a little bit more glittery than the other pieces. And if I was going to do this and really want to have the glitter show, I would probably use mainly this on this kind of thing because it's so big. Um, on smaller pieces, I think the glitter glue looks really nice, but it, once again, it's a personal preference thing. 
So that one's the New England Ivy. And then on this one, this is what the two pieces look like uh, cut out with this is olive, uh, the olive cardstock with the white, and this one happens to be the accent four. And then I, once again, I did take the negative pieces from from the cut and put it on the back side, which then essentially gives you two of the exact same thing if you do it, you know, the other way. Um, I. It does, I mean, you could cut it either way, it doesn't really matter, and it's hard to tell in the video that this is the negative cuts, whereas this is the outline cut. Um, so, really, you know, this is a lot easier to do than lining up these pieces, but certainly if you wanted to have it be double-sided, you could do it that way. It, it just, you know, once again, is, is personal preference, otherwise it's just a plain white. So that one, <coughs> excuse me, was the olive. Uh, here's two more of the cranberry. Um, that was the accent two. And then this one is accent three. And this color is called Ponderosa Pine. And I just think it's stunning with the white. It's uh, just a really beautiful look. So I'm going to show you what a picture looks like with them hanging up. You can hang these are really big. You can hang them in your windows and your doors, uh, doorways. I have a kind of an arch doorway that I'm planning on hanging mine up in. But it's uh, it's something that would be really fun if you have a really large tree. You could hang these up um, and make a big bold statement on that. Um, I did want to show you, it once again, how the glitter looks if you wanted to go with the Prisma Glitter idea. Um, this is that same Merry Christmas that I showed you from here, um, that cut, but this is cut at 4 inches. This is a 5 by 7 inch card, and uh, I Prisma Glittered this. And this is a very, very simple card, but it's really beautiful. So I think that uh, if you were kind of pressed for time and you wanted to have something effective, and something that that still looked really classy you could make a lot of these in a, in a relatively short period of time and once again I use the bonding memories to stick this down um, it has a chisel tip on it so it's really easy to put on you know in a smaller area um, and, and and it is a you know it's a very effective glue and the Prisma glitter seems to stick pretty well with the the Zyron. I've used other things in the past, but this is probably my favorite for that really tiny glitter. Um, but, you know, certainly uh, whatever your favorite adhesive is, you know, try that. But it seems to stay fairly well and it doesn't fall off as much. Glitter by nature seems to be pretty much everywhere when when you're working with it when and cleaning up. Anyway, I hope that you get a chance to try some of these things. Um, my daughter, when I was making them, was really impressed with how cool these looked because she'd never seen such big ornaments. And um, and I, I think, you know, I hope that they look as nice on camera as they do in person because really they are uh, just very simple but, but very pretty. Thanks so much for joining me. If you have any questions, please visit my blog at scrapandthread.blogspot.com. Take care.